Hey, my name's Catherine McCrill. I'm 44 and I live in Erdington, not far from here. So I've cut. Yep. Prior to becoming sick, um, I used to be a librarian in, um, in a council and then I went into a secondary school and I was a library manager there, which I really enjoyed, working with the children and helping them to find information and take lessons and really the interaction with them. I've had a number of diagnoses um, and when I was diagnosed they started to put care in but it was very limited so I became very housebound and I was unable to go out on my own or really cook or do anything for myself um, so I felt very isolated and alone and very frightened about each day and the future, having falls at home and just feeling very vulnerable, yeah. John Taylor has given me the opportunity to come uh, once a week uh, to the day hospice. Um, I, that's enabled me to have um, pain management care through acupuncture. Um, I've also been able to take part in having um, natural therapies, so um, massage and Indian head massage, um, a bit of Reiki, um, a bit of aromatherapy. Um, I've also been able to stay in respite, which has been really useful. And they've also sort of helped me um, with medication, um, sort of getting things right to enable my medication not to interact um, against each other and, you know, help within that way. So that's from the doctors, the nurses, um, I have a lot to do with the, volu the volunteers are here to help us, amazing people, um, as the doctors and nurses are as well. So yeah, I've had lots of care and support if I've had a bad time at home and um, we rang in to John Taylor then usually someone from John Taylor has come out to me and been able to assist us. So. John Taylor has given us a lot of support. What did you think? Isn't that a place where people go to die? That's what I thought. Um, I wasn't worried when they told me. I just thought, oh, people go there to die. Um, and when I was told about the sorts of things that John Taylor did, and would enable me to be involved in, I suddenly thought, oh, this is a place I'd like to go and see. And I've never looked back. It's the happiest place I've ever been. And I feel that I'm coming home to part of a family. We all just feel like one huge family. Everybody knows who you are. Everybody talks to you, makes you feel welcome and happy and suddenly I'd gone from being very isolated and scared about the future and sort of lost a life to suddenly John Taylor's giving me my life back and I've suddenly got friends again because going from work where you have people to talk to and friends around you. Suddenly you, you lose that and then to come here to have everybody around you and to be friends and to look forward to seeing each other each week. 
it's just wonderful. I really cannot tell you how much John Taylor's given me my life back. And the support that you've given to my partner is just second to none. So you're the whole package. <laughs> There's nothing I could change about John Taylor Hospice. Um, from the people, from all levels, everybody is just amazing. You're all angels on earth, and I've never laughed so much as when I've come here. Even when I was at work, I really laughed more here than anywhere. Um, there's nothing I would ever change. Thank you for what you do, and please, you know, keep up the great work. Every moment matters, because you are giving us everything back, and you're making every moment for me matter. Thank you.